different books actually because it's each of those colors. And then I even have a post-it note where I put like a note on it. What did I even write on it? Oh, I basically Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review of the How to Ace Big Fat Notebook series. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a haul of the books that I picked up at Barnes & Nobles. I did go to Barnes & Nobles a couple days ago. And so let's roll the footage. <laughs> So now that you've seen the footage of me at Barnes & Nobles picking out books to pick up, let's just get right into the video. But before we get started, I just wanted to say, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here. But now without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by talking about the Big Fat Notebook series and just for people that don't know what this series is about. So this series is basically making any subject very easy because, you know, with school coming up, I feel like these books are definitely perfect to pick up for you, for your siblings, for your kids, whoever it may be. And I feel like these books are definitely essential and are definitely something to consider picking up now that school is starting. Or even if you want to get ahead of the school year, that is definitely something I would recommend because that's going to definitely help you out a lot. So the Big Fat Notebook series has a bunch of different books actually because it's each book covers a certain subject. So the one I'm holding up right here is Everything You Need to Ace Computer Science and Coding in One Big Fat Notebook. And each book has like its own like color coordinated like theme. So this one is purple as you can see. When you open it up there's this like art. And then it's like a notebook. It's literally in this like notebook format. And so it literally looks just like a notebook with different fun doodles and just funny little jokes here and there. And also some relatable scenarios to help you understand certain things. And they highlight, underline, box, and just do all of that stuff because it really helps with kind of pointing out certain things, making certain information very obvious and stand out. I think that's so important because when you're reading a lot of text, it can really kind of overwhelm you and then you kind of get more confused and you don't really remember all the information you're reading. And with this, with this format where there's like boxed things and highlights and bold um, text, that definitely really helps the person who's reading this to kind of remember the important stuff. These books are so, so helpful and there are so many different uses with these books. Like for example, you can refer to it as a study guide. So if you're looking for a way to study for a test, especially if it's a topic you don't understand very well or a topic you're struggling with or even a subject you're struggling with, these books are probably what you might wanna consider. There is so many different subjects there is the computer science and coding. There is the science. There is American history. There is English. There is world history. And then there's also a math one, which I also have, but I left it upstairs. But there is a math one, which is blue. And I will link these books down in the description box so that you guys can check them out. Now, this specific series covers the subjects for middle school, but there is also a series for the high school. And for the high school, there is biology, chemistry, pre-algebra and algebra one, and geometry. 
And I think that is amazing because you've got the middle school series and then when you're going into high school, you can get the high school series. Now, as I've mentioned before, there are multiple uses with these books. You can refer to them as study guides. So if you're struggling with a subject or you know you have a test coming up, you can definitely refer to this as your study guide. Find the chapter that you need and that you're learning in school about or you have a test on and just read it. Also, something that is amazing about these books and I personally love is that after every single chapter, there is a little short quiz that has about seven to 10 questions usually, and then there's answers on the back so that you can check your answers to make sure that you're right and that you're on the right track. I think that is so, so good because you know, little quizzes here and there between each chapter is really important to know if you truly understand the subject or the chapter, I should say. And I think that is so important with these books because you're trying to actually learn and retain the information. So the little chapter quizzes is definitely very helpful and will probably help you even more. Personally for me, the quizzes after each chapter is so, so helpful and I really enjoy doing the quizzes actually. I know some people don't like quizzes and having quizzes in certain books, but again, with this book, with this series, you're trying to actually like learn and retain information. So the quizzes are definitely very essential. So I definitely like that about these books. And also they make learning fun. I mean, look at this. There's pictures and doodles and like lots of colorful, um, you know, text boxes. And then like certain things are color coded and like, you know, different things are underlined. I think it's just so, so nice. There's things that's bolded, pictures, and some fun things here and there. It makes learning just so much fun. So the world history book, it covers ancient China. It covers the medieval Japan and the golden age of China. It covers world wars one and two, the women's movement, modern global issue, Europe in the middle ages, the Renaissance, um, the ancient African civilizations, and so much more. And I read this entire book and it was so helpful for me in the school year because when the teacher would talk about certain things or like point out certain things that I read in this book, it would just come back to me. Like I, everything I read, it would come back to me. I would remember it and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with that. That is so helpful. Another great use of these books is to get ahead. And whether that is during the school year or during the summer, you can really use these books to your advantage and get ahead of the specific subject. I did that and I'm still doing that. And it's so nice. It really helps out a lot because you can get better grades and it also really helps a lot. So on the back, it says, the Big Fat Notebook makes all the stuff you learn in school sink in with key concepts mnemonic devices, definitions, timelines, and doodles to help you get better grades. This is just so, so nice. Now let's go ahead and look at the next one that I have in my pile, in my collection. This one is the English language arts. If you're wondering what the doodles, um, well, each book has like some kind of picture on the inside. And look at this, it's like this neon, orange, pink, coral kind of color. This picture right there is perfect for English. I love the color too. And inside of world history, it has like this pattern. I don't know if you can see that, it's so neon and bright yellow, but yeah. So the English language arts books include grammar, figurative language, Greek and Latin affixes and roots, word relationships, types of literature, textual analysis and evidence, types of nonfiction, central ideas and arguments, research and writing practices, and much more. Again, if you're struggling with a certain subject, I highly recommend that you pick one of these up. Now with school starting, I think this is the perfect time to pick these books up and it's just gonna help you so much. I mean, if you still have a few weeks of school left, that's also another great time to pick these up if you wanna get ahead and kinda of get a head start, especially if you're starting middle school. If you're going into sixth or seventh grade, definitely a great time. But even if you're going into eighth grade, the last year of middle school, I still recommend these because a lot of the things mentioned in these books you learn in eighth grade. Like a lot of the stuff from this book right here, the world history, I learned in eighth grade and seventh grade. So yeah, I mean, definitely 
definitely recommend this any time of middle school, any year that you're in. Now this one is American History. A huge part of this book I, was, I learned in eighth grade. So this was super helpful for me and I got really good grades mainly because of these books. So I'm gonna read again what is included in this book, the American History book. So it includes Native American cultures, the 13 colonies, the Louisiana Purchase, Burr versus Hamilton, the Civil War, the Industrial Revolution, World War I, the Great Depression, Pearl Harbor to D-Day, the Civil Rights Movement, 9-11, and more. And again, with the fun doodles. In case you're wondering, this is what the quiz looks like. It has about seven questions that you can actually answer in the book. You can actually write inside the book because it is like a notebook format. And then when you're ready to check your answers, you just flip the page and then there's the answers. Now, it may be very temptating to cheat on the quizzes because the answers are literally, like you literally just flip the page and there's answers right there, right in front of your fingertips. It, it could really cause this huge temptation to cheat. And I highly recommend that you do not cheat because it's not gonna help you at all. Like it's not, it's not gonna make the information that you learn sink in and it's not gonna benefit you at all. So I highly recommend that even if you get the question wrong, just don't cheat because when you make a mistake and then you see the answer and you figure out what was your mistake and how and like what was the true answer to the question, you will find that you're gonna definitely sink in the information and you're, you know, cheating is just not good in general. So don't cheat with these books. Definitely do it for yourself and get the knowledge that you need and let all the information sink in without cheating. All right, the next book I have here is Science and I do have a bunch of posted tabs. I don't know, let's see, what did I? Okay, so just like pages I needed to reference at one point or another or just, something I wanted to look back on later, and then I even have a post-it note where I put like a note on it. What did I even write on it? Oh, I basically just wrote like a little summary of what I was reading. But the science book is green, and I don't know if I showed you the American history, but the inside looks like this. I don't know if you can tell because again, so bright, so like neon, but it has like stars basically on it. And then the science one has like this right here. Yeah, I like that. I love the green. I think that fits science really, really well. I will again read what's included in this book. It includes Earth and the Solar System, Scientific Inquiry, Force and Newton's Law of Motion, The Elements, Energy, The Engineering Design Process, Climate, Cell Theory, body systems, evolution and fossils, ecosystems, and much more. Science and math are really, really important. So if you're planning to pick these up and you don't know which subjects to pick up, science and math is probably the priority, or at least the subjects that you're struggling on. So this one is the computer science and coding. I did talk about this already, but yeah, so when you open it up again, I did show you this earlier, but this is what it looks like again. It has like computers and robots and yeah that's really really fitting uh, I love the purple <laughs> but yeah so again it has the quizzes after each chapter um, let's see chapter 26 strings and then it just says like strings are a group of sequenced characters within either single or double quotation marks you use strings to show messages or text on screen in your program. When Python sees quotation marks around text, it reads it as a string. And then it has like examples, which is very nice. I'm gonna read to you again what's included in this book. It includes computing systems, binary code, algorithms, computational thinking, loops, events, procedures, programming in Scratch and Python, Boolean expressions, web development, cybersecurity, HTML, CSS, and much more. 
I just think these books are so, so useful and so helpful. I personally highly recommend these because these are definitely very helpful, especially if you are going into middle school or if you're just in middle school, any year of middle school, honestly, these books, it's, it's like never too late. I mean, even if you're not in middle school anymore and you just wanna kind of refresh your memory from the things you learned, I highly recommend this series. I mean, so many books, colorful, uh, easy to learn, easy to understand, uh, makes it fun to learn, very fun to read and fun to understand and learn. And honestly, if you're a mom or a parent trying to get your kids to understand the subject better and you're looking for a method or a way to make them actually want to sit down and read and learn and, you know, do the little quizzes or anything like that, this is definitely something that will help you. I highly recommend the series because it will definitely benefit you. Um, and again, you can definitely get these books as a gift for someone and recommend these to people. I highly recommend them. They're just amazing books. And overall, I highly recommend these. I think these are great books and I love them personally and I will continue to recommend them. And yeah, so that is my review on the How to Ace Big Fat Notebooks. And yeah. All right, everyone, so that is all for the review of the How to Ace Big Fat Notebook series. So now let's get into the Barnes & Noble's haul. I did pick up two books and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I absolutely love going to Barnes & Noble's and I went with my little brother and it was just so much fun. We both had a great time picking books for ourselves. This is very fitting for today's video, the book that I got very fitting for the video today. And that's because it is a how to ace book. That is just awesome. I mean, we can add it to the collection. I have all the middle school books, but I don't have any high school books. But that's until I went to Barnes and Nobles and saw the entire series there. And I picked up the high school chemistry book. So it's called Everything You Need to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook, The Complete High School Study Guide. This is just perfect. And look at the cover. So it's like this orangey yellow and it's kind of like a, I would say like an inverted version of the middle school series because look, the middle school series looks like this, all of the books. They're like black with like the colorful sides and the colorful lettering, like, you know what I mean? But then this one has the color as like, the main part and then the black on the sides rather than the color. So I don't know, I just think that's so cool. Um, it kind of makes the middle school's series kind of look different from the high school series, which is definitely a really good idea. And I'm so happy that I got this book because now I can kind of get ahead because there's only a few weeks left before school starts. So I feel like I do have some time to sort of get a little bit ahead um, of school and kind of start learning some things I'm gonna learn this year. So I did get the chemistry book for the high school, so I'm gonna be using this to get ahead. And you might notice that I have a bookmark because I did start reading it. I'm already on chapter two, page 18. Um, I did do the first quiz already and I did really well on it um, because I read the chapter and I learned from the chapter and did pretty well on the quiz. And I'm really excited to continue reading this and to kind of get more and more ahead for school. I'm definitely really excited to read or continue reading since I did start it, uh, but to continue reading this book. So we can actually add it right here into my collection, my pile. And we have one more book for today's Barnes and Noble's haul and that is... Harry Potter. Okay, this book is like so much lighter than these books, <laughs> but yeah, I did get Harry Potter. So I got the second book for the Harry Potter series because I ordered the first book. But yeah, I did pick up the second book this way. When I pick up the first book, I can already have the second book so that when I'm reading the first book, I don't have to worry about having to pick up this, the next book on time. I can already have it and be able to start reading it right away as soon as I finish 
my first Harry Potter book. I've always wanted to read the Harry Potter series and I probably will review the books once I read them. So if you guys wanna see that, comment down below. I do have other book related videos. I have my best books of 2020. I will link it up above um, on one of the corners up top. And then I also have my Land of Stories book review, the first book. I'll also link it up above. They'll also be in the description box. I do have a playlist, so I'll probably just link that in the description box. And also up above, I'll probably just link the whole playlist because um, it has all my book-related videos in it. So if you're interested in that, there will be a whole playlist on that. So it'll be up above as well as in the description box. And yeah, so that is the book I picked up um, aside from the chemistry book for high school and yeah and this is what the cover looks like so it's called harry potter and the chamber of secrets i like the cover a lot i like the cover of harry potter books um it says year two so it's book two and when i got it it was actually 25 percent off which is really nice you know gotta love a good deal <laughs> but yeah that is what i picked up at barnes and nobles thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Also guys, follow me on Instagram. I will link it in the description box down below, but basically on my Instagram account, I do sneak peeks and I do behind the scenes on there. So if you're interested in that, please come follow me and I will link all my information in the description box down below. So make sure to check it out. And yeah, comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below if you guys have read the How to Ace Big Fat Notebook series. If you guys are planning to pick it up, comment all of that down below. Comment down below your opinion of the Big Fat Notebook series. I would love to know. And also guys, if you read the Harry Potter series, let me know how you liked it in the comments down below. I hope everyone is staying safe and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.